everybody, I'm home. Welcome in. I'm Lynn Charman Johnson with Consumers Credit Union. And we have such great stories, especially when they focus on excitement and real people and people that you know and people that I get to work with. And one of those is Jen Smith. And Jen is a brand new mom. And since it's Mother's Day, we thought we'd check in on you, Jen. Hello. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, I don't see a little Cade, so I'm assuming he's taking a nap. He is definitely taking a nap right now. Usually I get a nice little long nap in the middle of the day, long as in about an hour and a half to two hours, so I'll take it. So that's usually when I try to get some stuff done. You know, speaking of sleep, I mean, that was one of the things with all of our kids. Only one of them slept tremendously well. And otherwise, it just kind of felt that you're always like kind of walking like a, I always felt like a mummy, you know. <laughs> kids yeah. stuff. How's Kate been since you've been home? He's been good. So he did spend a little bit of time in NICU. So the first couple of weeks are a little bit of a whirlwind and a blur at this point. But he is doing so good. And you would never know that he was born four weeks early. So it's been amazing watching him just grow up. And he's six weeks old now. So the last six weeks, again, have been a blur, but it's been pretty amazing. So here you are, a brand new mom. And Jen, I met you. You are now with the HR development and education team. You started out in consumers and, and came into the marketing team. So I've been so blessed to be able to work with you, get to know you. And I knew right from the outset, the minute that I heard that you were going to have a baby, what a wonderful mom you'd be. So we just wanted to touch base with a brand new mom and, and hear like what's been going on, especially with how the world has been. You know, if, if you close your eyes and you think back, tell us a little bit about when you found out that you were going to have a baby and how, you know, how the journey has been. Yeah. So this little one was years in the making. So when we found out we were definitely over the moon, I mean, a lot of, a lot of emotions. And then, yeah, getting uh, pregnant in 2020 when uh, we were in the middle of a pandemic, and it was kind of early in the pandemic when we found out that we were expecting, it posed its own challenge, right? So we, of course, had to be super careful with our own health and making sure that we were being careful. And uh, there were so many unknowns, and there still are so many unknowns with kind of pregnancy and what that means if you were to get it and like what it means for the baby and all of that. So thinking back, I mean, the excitement definitely trumped all the other emotions when it came to the pandemic and things like that. But it was definitely scary. There were definitely moments where I'm like, oh, what are we, we don't even know what we're up against. So when you look at it, you and Corey, you you mentioned years in the making. And, and what that means to many people is that you were very focused on wanting to be parents. And now here you are. And what a what an, a team effort it takes, Jen. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the new dad and uh, and how's it going day to day? Really good. So Corey, unfortunately, had to go back to work. He only had about a week off, which was spent in the NICU. <laughs> so when we got home, it was finding this new adjustment and new balance of life and how we were going to figure it all out. But he is killing it at the dad thing. <laughs> we, uh, we're definitely loving every minute of watching this little guy grow up. So when you um, went into labor and back when there was no pandemic, I remember the days of being in the hospital. You weren't in very long and I don't think you still are now. But what ended up happening was so many people would come to see the new baby. That didn't get to happen for you. It Was that actually a blessing, you know, in the quietness of it? So it was. Obviously, it would have looked a lot different if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic. We would have absolutely wanted like our parents there. And probably, you know, when I've watched my nieces and nephews be born, they were in the waiting room. So they would have been right there, you know, the moment that it happened. But it was kind of a blessing in disguise. It ended up being kind of a high risk delivery. And so having just the two of us to kind of have that time together uh, with Cade and watch, you know, him go through what he had to go through and, you know, me take the time to heal uh, and just kind of become a, a family very quickly in that moment was, was pretty cool. So we, you know, took advantage of FaceTime and, you know, all the technology to, you know, bring the grandparents in and, uh, the, you know, uncles and aunts and all of that and the cousins. But it was definitely a unique experience. It was not anything that I would have ever pictured how it would have gone. Um, but I do kind of looking back, think it was a little bit of a blessing in disguise just to be able to have that time together. Well, speaking of blessings, you know, I, I really hear your story and I hear the word miracle that comes to mind. You must really think on this Mother's Day, what a, what a miracle you've been given. Absolutely. 
yes it makes me a little emotional thinking about it well, it's a wonderful emotion to have you know <laughs> it, is. it absolutely is so tell me about your own moms you know your moms that have been there you mentioned the grandparents that got to like do the facetime and now everybody's got to meet Cade. But growing up, you know, did you always in your mind think, boy, I can't wait to be a mom? And then number two, what did your mom teach you? Yeah, you know, I always had that picture in my mind of growing up, getting married, having babies. Like that was, that was, you know, what you pictured. And obviously it looked a little bit different than what you pictured growing up. But yeah, I, and I always had that desire to want to be a mom and um, all of that. And I think when I think of kind of the lessons that my mom gave me, and even through all of this and, you know, I guess all of my adult life, really kind of thinking back, um, it's always her, her one thing has always been kind of like stop and take a deep breath. Like in the moment when things are crazy or, you know, when you've been dealt something you didn't think you'd be dealt and even even in the good times, you know, there's good stress too. And it's always kind of been like, okay, Jen, take a second, take a deep breath, you know, let's talk through it. Um, and she lives uh, miles away. So she lives in South Carolina. And I think the other big thing, it's always been that, you know what, I'm only a phone call away. So, you know, always having that support system there has been amazing. Tell us about that support system and the family. Um, you know, has there been lots of great tips for the new mom? So, yeah, you know, I think from the very beginning, a lot of people told me when we got pregnant, like, you're going to hear a lot of advice from people and some of it you're just going to have to totally ignore. And so... You know, definitely from our parents, especially, but I think even like friends and things like that, I wouldn't say that it's been overwhelming with the amount of advice where I felt like I couldn't listen to, um, but there's definitely been some good tips too. You know, everybody tells you like, it's going to go by so fast and you don't realize it until you're in the moment, how absolutely how fast it goes. And so kind of just like trying to take it all in has been one thing that I've been trying to focus on through all of this. And then you know, a lot of people tell you or, or you think like, okay, I shouldn't hold my baby that much or, you know, things like that. And I've also had friends tell me, you know what, they grow out of things so quickly, like hold that baby, like enjoy those moments, enjoy the snuggles, like you can figure out the sleep thing later. So things like that, I guess, have been what's kind of stand out thus far. Well, I'll tell you, there's nobody that can be a better mom to Cade than you because you're his mom. You know, so I mean, it, 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 no, no matter what advice you give in the long run, you're the one that really, you know, understands him. So does Corey, which is just a, such a cool thing. Yeah, I would definitely say, you know, Kay doesn't know that I don't know what I'm doing. So we just figure it out day to day, you know, um, that's kind of the, been the biggest thing is becoming parents is just, we'll figure it out as we go. I mean, there's no instruction manual, right? So uh, Google is an amazing thing. Friends and family with children are, are amazing things, you know, to have them for advice. But all in all, you just kind of figure it out. All right. You know, you are a beautiful working mom. And, uh, you know, I, I remember being very uh, thoughtful about, you know, how to juggle that whole responsibility. And I just want you to know you've got so many people to talk with Jen when when this is happening because it really is a um, you know it's an emotional time and it, it's an exciting time you know for your entire family. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely dreading the day, the first day of daycare already. You know, I remember months ago because you had to focus on daycare so far in advance. You know, thinking like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to be that first day. Like maybe it'll be like, okay, yeah, here's my kid and I'm good. I'm going to go back to work and get you know adult conversations and stuff like that again. Um, but I definitely now in the moment, I'm already like, oh, I'm dreading the day of dropping him off at daycare for the first day. But I'm also excited to kind of get back to a career that I love and, you know, back to my coworkers and all the things that I'm missing for sure. And I think that challenge is just going to be figuring out that balance and, you know, making sure that we still have all that quality time to watch him grow and not think that we're missing things, you know, as we focus on our careers too. You know, I remember one, somebody told me, I think it was my mom actually, who said one day I was fretting about the fact that I was going to miss my firstborn's walk, you know, first time she walks. Yeah. And my mom says, no, you won't. And I said, what? And she says, you won't miss it. It's going to be the first time she walks for you. 
And, and you know what, that kind of put things into perspective. You will always be there for Kate and that's the coolest part. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to shout out to Corey and to your entire family. It's, it's, um, we are very excited at, as your consumers family to say congrats to Jen. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. You too. And to all of you, happy Mother's Day. If you have a topic that you would like to share, please send it along. Just like these conversations that we just had with Jen, real life, and it keeps us all going. So thank you so much. Hey, I'd like to shout out to Jay Gasoline for his production skills. And again, send us your information. We'd love to see it, hear it, and share it. I'm Lynn Jarman Johnson, Consumers Credit Union. Money, I'm home.